we left the flash in the middle of the street. It fell. So we got, oh shoot, and I got a. This is where I dropped. Homie dropped this, yo. Actually, it was my fault. I actually put it on the side of the car and it fell. Scully on. Got the all feet, man. We got the Justin Timberlake. What's poppin' on the big boy right now? You're back in the building. Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up, man. I had a re record this. How? I see my shirt. Maybe I don't, man. I still don't. Some juice, you know what I'm saying? Some adult juice on my shirt, bro. Kind of upset about that. But I'm going to try to pitch it to a Foot Locker and see if I can get a t-shirt there. Look at this. How that happened. He's being careless. That sucks, bro. My day just begun, too. I gotta get a new shirt ASAP Rocky. <laughs> this sucks, bro. This sucks. Look at his shoes, y'all. Look at his shoes. Got some red one mids. With some boy clothes on. <laughs> so we just finished eating. I don't know if it's brunch, lunch, whatever, man. Um, I have some wings for now. I think it's called the Clevelander. It's off of uh, the strip. And I didn't even know, man, the strip is blocked off, bro. You can't drive down here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Pre-COVID, you could. Those cars, Lambos, high-end cars, Bentleys, Rolls Royces, just drive up and down the strip right here. Now, it's blocked off, man. It's blocked off, even post-COVID, so blocked off, man. But we had a good brunch. Now I'm not gonna find a shoe palace, because look at my shirt, bro. I told y'all, man. I told y'all. So, let's make it. Oh, shit. Almost tripped. Look at their inventories. And they got Nikes in there too. Oh, up here is the Jordan section, bro. Dang, I'm saying it's got their own unique spot. But it looks like it's all Team Jordans, y'all. It's all Team Jordans except for this. The black and white joints. Oh, the last shot. That's dope. Jordan had the, the Jordan 10s, number 45. Bro, it's all Team Jordans, man. I don't see no retro in the building. None. Yo. What's up? Oh, so I'm in Shoe Palace. I'm upstairs, man. This is the Jordan section, man. I like that um, Lego Jordan. That is dope. And look at that uh, that candle four, bro. That's that's dope. And there's a little bit like trinkets all around, man. Like this trophy right here, the Jordan going up for the shot. Y'all seen this? That's famous. That picture that is. You know what I mean? A little trinket there. There's another picture. You know what I'm saying? It's like walking around his house, bro. All his uh. <laughs> Like his mama put all his pictures out there. And again, another side, a bigger famous picture. Playground, probably where he played hoops. We played outdoors. His Wings logo. Uh, Jordan drinking Gatorade. Some people want it to happen. Some wish it would happen. Others make it happen. That's what's up. So yeah, man, this shoe palace is kind of dope, man. Definitely have a unique section just only for Jordan. Uh, however, they do not have any retros up here man oh also you can check the inventory back here bro it's all open man that's dope i can stick my hand over that look at that oh, look, look, look. but that's dope man when you walk in it's like a big old glass you can see right in there even this picture right here that's that's dope bro oh shoot look what i'm walking on bro that's scary bro that's real scary but anyways man um oh shoot oh shoot that's another inventory room right there with a whole bunch of shoes we got the basketball. I never touched these before, bro. Let me grab one. I'm probably violating right now. Probably violating. I don't think you're supposed to hold these. What's up? I'm putting it back. Huh? I'm putting it back. Oh, no, <laughs> I appreciate it. I don't know if you were supposed to touch this or not, so I didn't want to get in oh, trouble. No, touch. Touch. Oh. And you got the bricks. Team Jordans. Some of my homeboys looking at some Team Jordans. You know he's not a sneakerhead. What you said? What? $150. Yes, they're $150. But you like these? But if this was $100, would you buy these? Yeah. You hear that, y'all? He'll buy these for $100. But he won't buy it for $150. I won't pay any amount of money for that. What about, and what What you said about this shoe right here? He said he'll buy these too, y'all. You like these, right? Yeah. Oh, you pay $120 for them? Yeah. Right now. <laughs> Oh man, I know y'all probably clowning him right now as we speak, y'all. 
It's the same shoe. It's probably these are probably on sale. That one got patent leather on it though. See the, the tongue. This one got suede. That one got patent leather. The difference. Uh, he would know. That's him. That's a, that's. Yeah, that's. I don't like the gold though. That's this is some so what they do is they take these shoes and make colorways of other retros. So impersonating is that Derrick Rose or Scotty? That's Scotty Pippen. I thought it was Derrick Rose. I'm like, yeah, that's a cool picture that had Derrick Rose right here and Michael there. But um, these are imitating the DMPs, yo. They have the DMP sixes that came out black and gold, huh? Though these are considered Team Jordan, so they're not the retro. So Jordan never played ball in these. So what they do, they make shoes similar to the shoes he played in, and they and they call them the Team Jordans, and they kind of it sells to people like y'all, man, and y'all buy it. And I paid the price. 170? And, 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 yeah. Yo, I can't make this up, bro. This guy was gonna buy some Team Jordans, yo. He's about to buy some Team Jordans. He's still looking too, yo. Look at him, yo. That's how I open my. Cause I had to get a t shirt. I want to get the white piece. Look at my homeboy bread ones, y'all. I got those. I got those, though. To be fair, I got a pair of those. My man's right here. You laughing at my shoes, dog? Ah, I should I put them on, on blast, yo. I actually like the shoe palace, man. One of the best shoe palaces I've been in. Look at the neon color gold up top. That's dope, man. Appreciate that. Put some artwork, Miami style. Put a wide angle for y'all, there y'all go. Palm trees, white sand, old school Ferrari, man. Y'all hear the music? All right, man, let's get this tea, yo. So I gotta switch my tees. And they got a lounge in there where you can sit down. Oh, and speak of sitting, they got some kids shoes. Damn, the kids are just living life, bro. Jordan 11, UNC. You got the Citra, I think that's what these are called. And they got the fives too as well, man. They're Jordan fives. Even the ace, which I have never seen before. These are cool. Even the flints. Kids are just living life, bro. And then they got the one purple. I wish they had adults. You guys don't got these in men, right? Oh, damn. We had them in men, but they sold out. What was it first come, first serve? It was through raffle. Oh, raffle. So he's asking, where are these? These are King Griffiths, homie. They don't, biggest size is size eight, though. How much is it? That's normal, bro. You at eight? These are normal, homie. This is normal price for shoes, man. He's tripping about the price, y'all. You don't buy shoes that, that often. And you got the Barclays joints right here. I think I showed you guys this the other day. You got some Jordan 1. Low. These are 75, but they're kids' shoes, though. Oh, they still got the sixes here. The electric green joints. But these are kids as well. There's a Nike Air section right here. I can't go up there and reach those shoes. Them shoes are too tall for me. I'm gonna have to keep at this level right here. So Shoe Palace didn't have a t-shirt that I did. Actually, they had a t-shirt. It just didn't have it in my size. It had extra large. So we about to pull up to round two and see what's popping. What's good, what's good? What y'all think about these shorts, bro? They're the Miami Heat Mission and Nash shorts, bro. They're going for 70 beans. I think I'm getting this for tonight. It's my outfit for tonight. <laughs> Yo, he's tripping. He tried to tell me what I can wear, what I can't. Miami, Miami, Miami. That's a baseball tee. What is this? Regular t shirt? This one says Chicago. Okay. I'm not mad at this at all. Okay. This is dope. Going for it, man. What's the price? 50 beans for this tee, yo. Chicago tee. I like. Yo, they got the Air Jordan. Teenage, I don't even know. The leather on here is crazy, though. I actually like it, man. Just don't like that ventilated system right there. These are dope. These are dope. They're going for two for damn 215. I did not know the price on these. Um, they also got the Flint Sevens as well. Let me bring y'all a little bit closer. There you go. Y'all see that? Kind of loud in here too, man. So I apologize. And they got a whole bunch of LeBrons, Kyrie's as always, PG's. Yeah, even got the Pippins in here and the flights. I'm in Snipes if y'all wondering. I think that's it. That's all I care to show at least. And I haven't seen these joints in person until now. Maybe I have. These are mids. I like how these look though. Before I get out of here, man. Again, another store with nothing but kids joints in here. Bread lows, right? They even got these threes, these Joker threes, Cool Gay threes for 140. Damn, I ain't no kids shoes that expensive. And then they got the um, five bro five or Raisin Bull five. I apologize. 140 is the price. They also got the 12 joints. Okay, they do got these as well. Phone posit pros, bro. 180. Damn, it's a whole bunch of phones in here too, man. They got these joints. They got these joints as well. I don't even know the name of these. Finally, they got a pair on sale for 140. I like it. Oh, let's get the New York Knicks colorway as well. Back to these, 140 is the price. Definitely look like a kid's shoe though, man. Just how that whole uh, midsole look like, looking like. Let's keep it moving. What else, what else? Air Max, oh, they're going for 70 beans? I like these, I cop. They ask about them, man. No. Yeah, look how high they are, bro. Oh, 40 beans for these? That's Price is legit. 
I got a pair of these, and I, I think I paid like forty beans for mine. So Hell no. Nah. <laughs> yeah, cause it's the colorway, bro. Damn, but that's cheap. Forty beans. Yeah. Uh, if you had the color, like if you had the colors to match this. Yeah, you could. I mean, you in Miami? Yeah, you yeah, can pull yeah, that yeah. off. Yeah. I'm acquired by these, yo. And they got the blue joint for one hundred nine. See how the price change? And then they got the orange for ninety beans. Oh, they got the. Well, I thought it said twenty nine dollars. That's one twenty nine, bro. Why you hating? There's a whole bunch of 97s in here, bro. 129 for those, 129 for these. I'm just about to leave too, man. I was saying, she was caught my eye. You got the purple joints, 97. Those are expensive though. I already know those going for full retail. These are the EVOs, the Vapor Max. They're cool though, they're comfortable. Yo, my man, it's cheap, bro. $200? Bro, can you lower your voice before you like, get kicked out the store? Like, How much you pay for those, those socks, bro? These socks? $14. Yo, our audience, my audience don't care about those socks, bro. This is what he got. For his $14, yo. They're not even okay. stand socks, yo. Who is who is our okay. uh, socks? Who, who's they? Yo, they're not even stand. Bro, I read stand socks, y'all. My stand socks, which is name brand, don't even cost more than those. And my Nike socks I play basketball and I get three for like seven dollars. He spent sixty dollars for a pair of socks. But complaining about a pair of shoes that cost 200 is functional. And we still gotta go to uh, Foot Locker, man, before we get out of here. You gotta get those other shoes? Huh? You gotta get them? Yeah. I'm just waiting for the guy to come back. This is good. $80. Those are comfortable too, bro. So the homie came back. The verdict is they do not have the and the size 11, half or 12. The biggest size they have is size 11. So X and A on this. This is the homie in a cigar lounge trying to light his cigarette. You having trouble over there, son? I shouldn't have caught that much. This guy tripping, yo. He said this is a $30 ashtray. He's complaining about $120 cakes. Like $50, bucks. 50 bucks. Like 50 bucks. Uh, yeah. How much is the cigar? Uh, $15. $15 for a cigar, bro. Yo, I'm walking all over Miami, bro. I am sweaty. Shirt's still dirty, as you can tell, man. Um, showing you guys all the sneaker stores that I can venture into around South, South Beach area. Right now, we're gonna take it for the we're gonna take it to Nike for the very last time. I'm probably gonna double up on those lows. You know, reacts about those here, Jordan Six Electric Greens. We never know. We never know. And I'm back in the crib, y'all. Appreciate you guys watching this far. This video entails me visiting multiple different sneaker stores, man. First, I went to Shoe Palace. Then I went to Snipes. Then I went to Round Two. Not necessarily all in that order. I pull up to Foot Locker. Did I make it a Foot Locker? I actually did. I don't know if I even showed that in the footage. I apologize if I did. It probably wasn't much in there. But I went to like four or five sneaker spots. And I made my rounds back to the Nike store. Because I want to get another pair of those Air Jordan 1 Lows. Those black, blue, and white joints in my size. But they did not have a size 11 and a half or 12. They had size 11 and smaller. Those electric green sixes were gone. And as I was leaving the door, man, I remember the sales associates who helped me. He's like, oh, do you uh, take a look at the dunks? I'm like, dunks? What dunks? So she pointed me over to these joints. These was just sitting here. And here they go. If the box looks small, it's because it's a size nine and a half, not my size. And that's a nine and a half in women. So I purchased it for my wife. And these are the Nike Dunks Easter. Now, I'm not sure why the Easter dunks are coming out in June. <laughs> These shoes dropped June 4th. I actually checked the release date. Multiple people could have purchased, which they did, because I was acquiring about these uh, people was coming in, picking them up as well. Now, I did ask for a size 10, because I actually got my wife's size confused. She wears a true size 10 in women, but sometimes I buy her in men, so I kind of got the size of mixed up. So anyways, I asked about a 10 in women and did not have any more. So I was only able to get the nine and a half. And she just tried these on as I was making this video. I love my shoes. Mm-hmm. I was wondering why you didn't say that until you found them. I'm not doing a video. And her toes right to the tip, man. So if you put socks on, it's a wrap. But anyways, they have multiple different colors. Uh, they got like the Easter Pascal going on. You got the pink, the green, the blue, the purple, the yellow. Uh, you got some glitter on the outsole. That's different. Predominantly um, white shoe because you got white in the toe box and you also got white laces and on the tongue The Nike tag on the tongue is in two different colors even the insoles is the insole different the same color now it's the same color love the multicolor combination they got going on both shoes, but it's the Easter shoe It's a dope shoe for kids and women if you're into that that whole style and it's a dunk and you know dunks are the fad at the moment So everybody want a pair, but that's pretty much my last pickup from the actually no it's not I actually got another item i do now that i think of it and it's probably downstairs 
And I don't want to get... <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to wrap it up right here, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. I'll show you guys that pick up in another video. And I want to wrap this video up and get it posted today. Thank you, guys. If you like what you saw, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell as well. And everyone, keep leaving your comments down below. And your boy get back to you as soon as possible. Until then, till we meet again, you already know my slogan. And quick, quick note. My homeboy was being cheap as hell. He doesn't buy shoes, man. So clown if you choose to, but forgive him if you have to because he wasn't aware of prices of shoes. I took him to round two. He about to get us kicked out of that store because he was complaining about the prices there. Um, the stain on my shirt, I went to Shoe Palace to get a, a white tee because that's where I buy my white tees. They didn't have my size. The smallest they had was extra large and I didn't want to be rocking a tall tee in 2021. So I didn't get my t-shirt like I wanted, man. So that's why I had a stain on my my shirt throughout the whole entire video. Anyways, I'm out of here. Deuces. You already know my slogan. Good to go. It's a wrap. Peace.